Please welcome Alden Kane. So we spent the last set looking at new ways of looking at things. And we recently met Eldon, who has a completely different way of looking at education and what you can do with, with your things. So tell us about your invention. Certainly. So it uh, all got started for me when uh, University of Detroit Jesuit started a uh, new STEM inquiry and research uh, program. So this class was started by Mr. Dominic Koshidi Smith. And the goal of this class was to get all of the students affiliated with the college level research program. So through this class, I met with Dr. Daryl Clanky from the University of Detroit Mercy. Obviously, the University of Detroit Mercy and the University of Detroit Jesuit had that long-standing Jesuit bond since being jointly founded in 1877. So this program was a great um, mesh of the two schools. And um, so after I got in contact with Daryl Clanky, or Dr. Clanky, he told me I'd be working on a project to help a wheelchair user or a disabled person. I didn't know the exact, uh, the exact project at the time, but as I was getting in contact with him, Sharina was also getting in contact with him regarding a possible method of transportation for her soon-to-be son. This was all transpiring around January. So, Sharina, I talked with Sharina and Dr. Clanky, and she had this request to be able to safely and effectively transport around your soon-to-be son. Because really, in the wheelchair using community, there is no way to do this. So, I began prototyping, I began designing, began sketching. All this was happening around March. And from March to July, I worked to make this wheelchair stroller, as I call it, uh, by, uh, through engineering. As you see uh, up there on the, on the left-hand side, it's one of my earliest sketches, circa circa February, and on the, and on the uh, right hand side, that is the final product. That's where engineering took me. So what's, what's amazing is, so you come up with this sketch after meeting with Sharina, and then you go to swim practice. Oh yeah. And, you know, so so you, know, you, you have a full life as a junior in high school at this point. Certainly, so I'm captain of U of D Jesuit swim team. So from January to March, I was really kind of jammed up. So I was just working on getting ready to be able to engineer this magnificent device. So I was learning some CAD, I was making some uh, early sketches, and I was, I was just getting prepared because I knew this was gonna be a big task. There was a great group of people working around me to make it happen, Dr. Clanky, Mr. Koshidi, the auto supplier I worked with, so I'm grateful for having them. But it was, it was a tall task, but I couldn't be any happier with how it came out. So one of the first things you got to do was actually deconstruct products on the market, talk about that. Oh, certainly. So the prototyping process, once I was already done with more so the design process, having my initial sketches and CAD models, I, I was just hammering away at old strollers and old wheelchairs, cutting them up, trying not to injure myself, really. <laughs> um, so, so I would make my earlier prototypes out of these, then I'd move to PVC pipe, and finally I had my final, final dimensions and final designs, and I knew exactly what I wanted the device to do. Obviously, Sharina had her needs, and I, I worked to meet those needs. So this is, we're seeing Alpha here. How many iterations of the wheelchair stroller happened? Oh, so uh, the design process started with probably 15 different sketches uh, in CAD models, but I probably physically built three or four different life-size prototypes, so it was great experience, and obviously those prototypes led me to where we are now. It's amazing that you, you know, did this in your free time. I was watching Gilligan's Island after school. <laughs> You're like, you know, changing the world. So, uh, you know, one thing that, that's great about TEDx is, is we have over 450 students here today. Mm -hmm. What piece of advice do you have for them? How do they take something they scribbled into their notebook and turn it into something real? So, it's all about finding the motivation to do so, getting organized. I mean, as Thomas Edison once said, genius is 1% inspiration and 99% percent perspiration. So it's all about working hard at your idea. If you have this great idea, you got your 1%, but you need to work on that 99%, bringing it to a full product. Because, I mean, STEM is extremely important in the city of Detroit. We're a city of engineers. We're a city of thinkers and inventors. And most importantly, Detroit is a city of people that care. 
So through this project, I was able to kind of mesh service and engineering. So it was big on the Jesuit value of service, but on the same time, it helped me refine my engineering interests. So, yeah, we can all read about science and, and manuals and, and test out CAD, but seeing it come to real life is so important. What do you say to all the educators in the audience about bringing some applied STEM classes into their schools? So applied STEM creates solutions to real world problems, whether it be through science, technology, or engineering, such as the uh, wheelchair stroller did. So these, you can, you can invent something proprietary, you can work on science that will further help uh, later science experiments possibly be published in a journal. So applied STEM is really important because it's one thing to do previous, uh, previ previously known science experiments, but moving on to proprietary ideas and inventions is really the future of where I see science education going for high school. Certainly it's all, it already reached the university level. So I, I see there's two big needs for you, first of all. We need a better name than wheelchair stroll. Yeah, yeah, um, that, so that's weak. Marketers in the audience, yeah. let's come up with some ideas. Also, how about some angel investors in the audience? How do we get this off the ground? What, what's next for you? Is this a company you want to start? Or are you dropping out of school to work on this full time? Or this is the first of a million things for you? Well, I think my mom would be pretty mad after spending $50,000 on high school for me to, for me to drop out. So, so I don't think we're there yet. But. Uh, So I, I've already filed for my provisional patent application, so I believe I can use... Haven't we all, really? Yeah. <laughs> so, so I believe I can use the distinction patent pending now, so that's exciting. And certainly I'd like to explore all the options I have on the table, whether it be licensing out to a, a Graco a, uh, or a Wright & Flip, a stroller or wheelchair manufacturer, or whether it be having an angel investor come in. Certainly that would be great business experience, and there is a huge market for this. Because, I mean, through, through Facebook, I've been able to see so many wheelchair-using parents or caretakers say, I wish they had this when I had my child, or where can I buy one of these? So it's great. So there's definitely bright things in store for the hopefully soon-to-be-renamed wheelchair stroller. I, you've been watching a lot of Shark Tank, obviously, because you're already talking about licensing deals with Mr. Wonderful. <laughs> yeah. So. yeah, no, Shark Tank's been a big help in this process. So uh, we have a lot of great engineering schools in town. Walsh College is a great option as well. Uh, where, where, do you think, uh, where do you think you're going to apply to attend? So the whole college process has kind of been put on the back burner with all of this. But I mean, I have a list. I'm of, so sorry, Mom. <laughs> I, I have a list of probably five schools, uh, University of Notre Dame, uh, University of Michigan, U.S. Naval, <laughs> US Naval Academy. Uh, Purdue, Michigan State University, Cornell. So, we're just pandering to the yeah. audience. Now. <laughs> so, de definitely, um, I want to focus on this along with applying to college now. So, it's going to be hopefully bright things are ahead for the wheelchair stroller and me. Well, it, 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 you are an amazing person. How about a round of applause for all the team? You've inspired all of us here, but I think what's even cooler is you inspired some, uh, you're helping someone else who inspires us. Let's see the wheelchair stroller in real life. Sharina, come on out. We are missing 